Howdy ho there folks and welcome to a game that I was honestly even surprised would even get a remake. Destroy All Humans. I played a shit ton of this as a kid, mainly the first game. I only recently played the second game like five years ago, maybe? Maybe four years ago? I don't know, time is flying. I played so much of this game as a kid. So much. And I'm I'm just outright surprised that there's even a remake of this game. <clears throat> of it in general. But Yeah, man, that's that's honestly surprising that's even getting made here. Or that it was made. Cause when I saw the trailer, I was I was actually expecting it to be a sequel. No, it's it's a from the ground up remake. Which is nice and it's really quiet right now. I was expecting some sort of menu to pop up. But yeah, guys, this is first tries. I thought about maybe not doing this game because it's just a remake of the original, but I think I have to really see how the beginning of the game held up and what they have changed, if anything at all, like controls, gameplay mechanics. And I'm probably going to sound really weird. I don't know. I'm just tired today. <laughs> uh, Rachel and I are on vacation. This is our first day of the vacation, and I don't know, last night after work, I stayed up for like, I don't know, like four or five hours after I left work, and I, I leave work around like 11 p.m., so I usually don't stay up that late. I'm a, I'm a good boy. But, guys, let's start the invasion. Oh. Okay. Destroy all humans one step on mankind. Did the original game have that? I was not expecting actually to get to this menu. I thought some type of cutscene was gonna play. Alright. Let's go ahead and let's bump this. Ew, what the fuck? Ew. I'm trying to increase this. But it's like it's going up in like Dude. Why is it doing that? Look at that. 45, 49. That's like one tick. That's weird. Is there a way I can like slowly increase it? No. <laughs> it's doing it in fours and sometimes in fives. That's weird as hell. See, that's 65. Yeah, fuck it. That's fucking weird. Lock on targets, focus mode switch, enable vibration. That's our controls. Crypto saucer. Yeah, this game came out in like 2004, I want to say. 2004, 2005. Oh, it was so fun. We're gonna dumb down this music a little bit. And about that, too. User interface has an audio? Okay. Uh, Gamma? I'm gonna, I guess, leave that set for now. It was just a really fun and quirky game, but it was so fun. So fun to play. Alright guys, let's do it. Once we get into it, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more. Humans of planet Earth be advised, while experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of Hurons remain a near-identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within may be shocking to a modern human brain. So I think that's just telling you. Chris? Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? 
two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Man, crypto got uh, fucked up. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. <laughs> Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. <laughs> patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. Oh, ew, I just noticed. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Oh, I love it. I just noticed, though, something gross. Crypto's got, like, these holes on the back of his head that breathe. That's kind of nasty. I don't remember that in the original. By the way, if that voice of Pox sounded familiar, any fan of Invader Zim will probably know that's Zim's voice actor, uh, Richard Stephen Horvitz, which is fantastic. For the longest time, though, I thought Crypto was voiced by uh, Steve Bloom, but no, he's not. It's uh, Jay Grant. Albrick? I think it's how his name's pronounced. New mission, Destination Earth. All right. Just like they said it. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. Okay. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay. Okay. Psychokinesis, Corey. This is a bunch of stuff that we don't know about yet. But you know what? We're gonna find out. Saucer upgrades. The archives. Ew, what the hell is that over there? What the fuck is that? Review past tutorials. Well, we haven't got there yet. Skin selection. Classic crypto. Complete all optional missions, or optional mission goals in Mission 7 to unlock the skin. I can't even see what it looks like. 
Crypto 137, Crypto 136, Mutant, Pale Rider. Okay. I'm guessing Classic Crypto, they're just going to match, like, swap out his model. That'd be nice. That'd be really cool. 136 just looks all battered up. Invasion report. Apparently there's more here. I mean, that's the only one I can select. Okay, do I really want to return to the main menu? No. Let's do a mission, boys. Destination Earth. It's just a nice thing that they've gone in and made the game just so pretty. Because so I have the original on PlayStation 4. I had it on Xbox. Never had it on PS2. When your shield is damaged, let it replenish. Retreat before it's depleted. One more attack could be lethal. The majestic agents are controlled. Oh. Okay. I'm ready to have some fun, man. I loved playing Destroy All Humans when I was younger. I loved it. Oh, my PlayStation isn't too loud, thankfully. Planet 42 from outer space. Or Plan 42. Why can't it be Plan 9? Wasn't the original Plan 9? I know the original you had a, a bunch of... Uh, hidden movies you could get. One of them was Plan 9, I think. Yeah, like those, those holes? Ew. Those are kind of wigging me out. Shit. Uh. Orthobox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! You know, I'm actually curious if they re-recorded these lines, or if they're the same from the original. Encrypto! Going to see. Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Reach the cow paddock. Uh, move around. Alright. Details. Planetary movement training. It's a testament to Furon ingenuity that Furons, with their statistically large brains to body mass proportions, can walk at all. Perfect Furon is all brain. Weapons take care of the brawn. Gastro 999. Nice. I get the feeling that we have uh, we have a certain motif in this whole game. Oh, do I not have my jetpack? That zooms in. I know I'm supposed to go through the tutorial, but I'd rather look at everything first. Man, look at this. Yeah, seriously, those holes on the back of his head, those are wigging me out a little bit. I don't have tryptophobia, but it's just it just looks nasty. Damn, this game is pretty. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't have my jetpack. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Just calm down, Orthopox, shit. Okay, I know in the original game you had to target first before you could do a scan. 
Extracting the thoughts of life forms on conquer plants is an unpleasant necessity. Furons do, however, find these absurd thoughts useful when making small talk at social gatherings. Despite traces of Furon DNA hidden within their own genome, humans' thoughts are even more vapid than the Martians' internal musings. Furons hypothesize that this insepidness is due to humans' tiny brain mass compared to Furon's own sizable cerebrums. There's a lot of $2 words in this whole game. Just yank them thoughts out and be on your way. Why waste your time trying to understand them? Gastro 999. Okay. Stunning. Moo. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Indeed. Very profound. Moo with a question mark. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. I thought he was going to say scan another one, just to make sure. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I That's am addressing asshole. you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. At least he was cordial at first. <laughs> we Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis crypto. Target an oh, object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Slam them, you say? Okay. There's a little bit of an auto target that's already working here. Oh, damn. Curse these creatures. Where's my, uh, PK? Wait, are you not dead? Let me make sure. Let me toss one in the lake. That's a, that's a little nicer to... Superb! <laughs> Good work, Crypto! That's a little nicer to do. It just auto-targets for you. Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Oh my god. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother. Martha, give me the shotgun. Dude, he looks so gross. This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer. Fry the farmer. <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Agricultural engineer, that sounds a. Uh... That sounds a lot nicer than a farmer. It's like calling a janitor a master of the custodial arts. Or a janitor if you really want to be a dick about it. You can consume the brainstem and collect <laughs> the Furon DNA. Just a little... Harold! Come on back! You gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... So... <laughs> 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 I'm not green. You're more of a teal or turquoise, my friend. <laughs> that little crazy ass smile he gave. <laughs> Just. Also, I'm trying to make the popping noise, but. Yeah, it's not really coming through. It's like barely coming through. <laughs> I've got an audio driver that's supposed to minimize background noise, so it's, it's taking out my peas like that, so I can't go. It's kind of coming through, like very, very little. As long as you have, as long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge showing the current charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some impacts deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. When the shield bar turns red, it's out of energy. Any hit could be lethal. Dodge projectiles or retreat to battle until shields begin recharging. 
Collecting brain stems reduce shield char recharge delay. Saucer also has a shield to recharge. Herpes. Use its drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. The saucer shield doesn't recharge automatically. Be merciless! Let none survive! Okay. Focus mode. It says controller only. What am I? A horseshoe? <laughs> <laughs> when heat two humans kill it. Hang on, I need to. Oh wait, what? I'm getting hit even just this flowing water? Oh, that's ass. Water damages shields. That's kind of dumb. Furons can't immerse themselves in water. Too much contact and it burns through the skin like acid. Uh, if they don't get out quickly, they'll perish. You go into water once, then you die. There's only one way to avoid getting burned. Total abstinence. Gastro 99. Well, shit. Alright. I can't get... Yeah, no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, this looks, uh... Oh, it's got the same music, too. That's too heavy, I guess. This is my place. You ain't welcome here. Excuse me. I'm gonna you Dude. Put me down, you wily critter. You're in my way. Uh, you wanna let go, Crypto? You can hold up. Good work, Crypto. Ah, oh, damn! I'm trying to get some brains. Fuck. Charging was a little bit hard. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Man. What is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm. Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. They just didn't even care about her story. They were like, is that a new silo? Oh, the Furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Ooh. Got some extra stuff. Where's, um, where the hell am I? Hey, chicken. Oh, you don't have one. Uh, are those guys still hanging out here? I don't think they are. Wait, no, there's a brain here still. Mine. Uh, hi there. What, uh, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so how's this work? Um, hmm. It's not really an indicator. Oh, we know there is. It's on him. That's right. It tells you how long it goes. Can I sneak up on him? He's got nothing to say. Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! <laughs> Dude, they don't even see me. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path! Wait, what does that say? Kill a farmer's wife using a chicken? Aw, oh, damn. I didn't do that. I didn't know there was optional objectives. I wasn't looking. How do I make the chicken? <laughs> Intriguing. I'm guessing I have to... Oops. So... Oh, hang on. Okay, that's how you use it as projectile. You have to hold it. Wait, I wonder. Does this thing have... So yeah, I'm holding it. It's a projectile. There we go. Okay. Wait. 
Nice. Or DNA. Well, I forgot I didn't actually look. Take a spin in your saucer, Kirchhoff. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age! The monkeys. Perfect! This thing is kind of like squirrely. Sonic beam? What? Oh, I don't have the other stuff unlocked, I guess. She's got the death beam. There's like no enemies trying to actually fight me. Well, now there is. Move out, man! Move, move, move! I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. I know, that's a rat face lie, Joe McCarthy. Oh, shit. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! <laughs> well, a couple of M1 Garands? Okay. Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to. DESTROY ALL HUMANS! Title drop. <laughs> yeah, this is like really squirrely. I don't know if he said that in the original game. I don't think he did. Man, I can't see. Too many trees. to the north in the bushes in the bushes replenish your saucer shields by draining any human vehicle how do I do that is there a vehicle how do I wait what the hell is that Using highly advanced energy transfer systems, the adducto beam is able to completely drain an object of its energy, repurposing it to replenish the saucer shields. I prefer a nice session of star bathing to charge up, but needs must. What? Drain a blank target of the saucer shield. Well, I... Have I even taken any damage? I can't even tell. Here, let's... I guess that's how that works. All right. Oh, there's my health. I guess I didn't take any health at that point. Let's try that again. Oh, I know. That's just one guy. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all. Oh yeah, just lay into him. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I realized I was hitting the tree. Is this guy really not gonna die? Okay. Damn, finally. Turnip Seed Farm got a little fucked up. Just a little bit. Are you dead? Thank you. Missed the optional objective, but hey, what are you gonna do? That's a lot of damage. And now the men in black come in. Come on, guys. It's like every day. Every day. You got a Did mustache. you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? 
Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Come on, guys. It's like every day. Every day there's saucer sighting. Mission successful. I did not kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. The game's gonna keep telling me about that. Uh, we've got new upgrades. Nice. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, do they have the newspaper? Cattle mutilation pandemic. Far farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Oh, God. Who's next, Miss Rockwell? Find out on page three. Nuclear bomb fallout shelter. Nice. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of... Of genitalia. No balls. The Furon ship no. On Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam. One thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Yeah, if only. After centuries and centuries, after alien and animal, you know, poontang going on. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? Or your abilities? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do the psychokinesis. Uh, we've got that. We don't have the disintegrator ray, the anal probe. We don't got that. Ion detonator shields. Cortex scan, psychokinesis. Fly faster. It takes 6,000 just to get the pituitary gland electric. Ew. Oh, no, I don't want to go. I want to do this. What do we have? We don't have a lot, apparently. Okay, a lot of upgrades. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was really... Uh, I'm looking back on it now. <laughs> that was really that was really weak saying no balls. But no, it's true. Crypto and Pox, the Furons, they don't have balls. They do not have them balls. So they have to clone themselves to get, get around it. The second game goes into it a little bit more, and it's kind of uh, sad to say. Uh, I think in the second game, it's only Pox and Crypto are the last uh, Furons. No, 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 they're not. They, they're they just not getting help. Because I know when there's there's one mission, you try and contact someone, and they say they don't they don't believe you, and they just leave you. They leave you on Earth. Increase Zappos cell. That costs a thousand. I'm probably going to wait. No, I don't want to go to the main menu. Let's look at the saucer upgrades. Nuclear blister inducer. Increased duration of ground burns. Increased death rate's charge capacity. That could be nice. It's only 750. Pulsatron. No extra upgrades yet. Let's do another mission. Earth women are delicious. 
Oh, do you see that? That's cool. What is that? Heat level? I don't even know what that symbol is. A little fire symbol? Turnip seed farm. Earth women are delicious. Yeah, let's do it. I think I remember this mission. You have to infiltrate like a state fair. Yeah, that's cool. The more I'm looking at this game, the more I realize how much love actually went into recreating this. This shit's hilarious. He's wearing an Elvis, an Elvis suit. That's hilarious. Mr. Multiverse. Okay. <laughs> uh, this game is just a blast to play. I said it's a blast to play. There we go. Low times are a little long. Crypto. I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? We're gonna probe them. We're gonna probe the hell out of them. Crypt enter the fair. Oh shit. Rockwall death knell. Death knell? Okay. The eye icon shows whether or not a human is looking at you. The blue icon shows you are still disguised or unnoticed. The alert level will not increase. The eye icon lights up when humans see an alien or alien activity. When the gauge is red, prevent the alert from increasing by neutralizing human witnesses. When the gauge turns yellow, oh, the gauge turns yellow if witnesses escape, activating the corresponding alert level. Okay. The first level just increases human awareness, while higher levels are more hazardous. During stealth missions, stay below the indicated threshold, or the mission will fail. Lower the alert level by first escaping to break line of sight, then laying lower, activate a hollow bob. Got a message just a sec ago. Do okay. that human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Okay. Well, let's get rid of him. What does that say? Forget. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly- No skin off of my teeth! There we go. Use the Hollow Bob ability to take on a holographic human disguise. Uh, the first human, the target human, meanwhile, is frozen and invisible. Okay. That's a little different than they did in the original game. The original game, you just stole their identity. Scanning human brain with Cortex Scan regenerates Hollow Bob. Hollow Bob will drop if it's not regularly recharged. Using powerful mental abilities, weapons, or other offensive actions disrupts Hollow Bob, making it deplete faster and briefly revealing Crypto. Hollow Bob will be compromised if humans witness its activation or its disruption. Neutralize them, forget, use forget, or escape to now restore that Hollow Bob. Disguised. Continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Dude, there's like some some freaky stuff going on here. <laughs> there's like some group freaky stuff going on. That's right, baby. The hell I'm you going doing? commando. I'm free and easy. Ew. Man, am I buff? Beat that, Charles Atlas. This guy's like peeping in here, it's gross. Wonder if I ought to go hit somebody with my nightstick. Could be fun. Indeed it could be. Very well it could be. Man, this uh ew, ew. This disguise at least looks uh more convincing. Kinda wanna get out of this because he looks like a fucking hillbilly. Uh can I just switch with this guy? Yeah, there we go. Now, that looks a little better. Got a ponytail now. 
Uh, but what I was going to say, um, when I ended up buying this game, what we uh, need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Indeed, it will be very, very hard. Would it kill the man to compost? Sheesh! I guess it will. Damn, this looks good. This just looks good in general. Um, when I ended up uh, buying this game, um, Amazon actually messed up and sent me two copies. So, again, I'm going to be trying a little bit of a giveaway with you guys. I should actually probably pause that way. It doesn't keep messing me up. I'm going to try a little bit of a giveaway again with you guys. Uh, this time it's not going to go as long as the last one did because there was ended up there ended up being like no takers so i ended up giving it away to someone else but if you want a chance to win a copy of destroy all humans it's on playstation 4 it's a physical copy leave a comment down below telling me that you do want to win the game and as well too you do have to be a subscriber to make sure in case there's more giveaways like this in the future and don't worry about paying any shipping costs. I will pay to ship it over to you guys. And it's a sealed copy. It's not opened. So there's that. So if you want to win a copy, leave a comment letting me know. And the giveaway is going to go on for about three or four days. Because uh, I'm recording this on a Monday. Probably the last day is going to be like a Thursday or a Friday. So I can actually ship it to you guys pretty quickly instead of having to wait during the weekend. So... I'm probably going to put an annotation or something in the description telling you where to go to see more about the giveaway. But with that being said, let's keep going. Man, oh man, she might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be on to something. We wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Apparently she was thinking of nothing. Gosh, Uncle Stanley sure didn't seem like himself this morning. Maybe I should give Miles a call. That Burt Withers makes my britches burn. His TV show makes us country Ugh. folk out to be stupid. That plane ain't truthful like. I don't know about that, Mary Beth. Mr. Ed versus Francis the Talking Mule. Now that's a debate I'd like to see. I'd put a carrot on Mr. Ed myself. Did you check out the Miss Rockwell tent? Whoa, hey, those girls are talented in more ways than one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Apparently, these guys are thinking of nothing. I'm a walking myocardial infarction. Just a waiting to happen. Hmm. Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with animals peaceably organizing. After all, it is an animal farm. Hmm, nice. Yeah, 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 town's oh, doing great. Guy. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Yes, Ugh. yes. Even the mayor is like in on it. from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, crypto. I wanna be a cowgirl. Actually, cow don't have to. I don't but think. But who would be my cowgirl? I'm Wayne. Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea, or. Was it by the sea? It's chicken up the sea. Which is tuna. Alright, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I no. stop you? As I was saying, <laughs> the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. 
Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Will do. Will do. Which just Implant means we're gonna aim over. on a puny human brain. Bend its will to I want ours. to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! Oh, optional. Escort her, posing as the mayor. That should be easy. Let me see. Nobody should be able to see me back here. Got it. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh my Which god. Which way's the exit? Enjoy the fair! Oh, and don't ride the mangler! It's a freaking death trap! <laughs> Where are you going? Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn. Heels. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. Nope, you're good. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people Dude who go still into just dark and mysterious on these guys. woods. Especially Wasn't the original in this game? Tales, was it, this guy looked, films, the mayor looked a lot more like a uh, like Richard Nixon. Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder. And saucer shaped. Whoa! This Indeed. Is just like la 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Liz. I remember the previous game Wait was a little a bit different. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, God, please, no. Oh, oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah, mm. right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. That is not the reaction I was expecting. Never fails. Yep, looks like we got to kill everybody here. Crypto, the authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer. Wreak havoc by All using right. your saucer's abductor to levitate a creature or object. Destroy buildings with the abducto meter. What? Hey, there we go. This game was originally different. Um, you don't just hold this. You actually, uh, you selected it or you, you held it down. You grab things. There we go. Alright, let's just destroy the rest of the fair. Can I pick that up? No, I can't. Oh, I don't know where the fuck that went. Went somewhere. Just gotta, just gotta, you know, save the economy here. Sorry, too. It seems like I kind of petered off on not talking a lot. It's hot. Surprisingly, talking, talking makes you makes you hotter. These guys really attack me with a. Uh... Wait, no, I want to grab this thing. Well, there goes the tent, and there goes the snack stand. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hot today. We're having like our last heat wave. I'm hoping it's it goes away very soon. It's like 95. 
but all the humidity makes it like 102. 102. Sometimes I swear I'm slurring my words. Alright, do we get to probe Miss Rockwell? So we got a thousand wing wings. Experimental side link hollow bob. Okay. Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairgrounds are left in tatters by freak storm. Miss Rockwell committed to Shady Pine Sanitarium. Our mayor miraculously survived fairground disaster. Damn, I wonder how. I was trying to read it. There's a glare on my TV. That's cool. I would have thought we'd probe her. I guess we just dropped her back off and... I don't know. She went to the insane asylum, started writing letters with poop in the in the wall. It's pretty nice. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? Mm. That sounds kind of gross, Box. What we got? Brain extraction. Brain extraction transmitted to another specimen when a human... What? Brain extract, extract is transmitted to another specimen when a human head explodes. It's kind of neat. Small levitated objects fly faster, deal more damage, and impact targets as if they were human-sized. Increase the duration of Holobob when you scan a brand new thought. I'm probably going to go ahead and do that because there's a lot of missions you have to disguise. Disguise yourself. A pox on your gear. Okay. There's apparently an air dash. Dashing triggers a small shock wave. Suprakinetic anti-graph thrust enhancer. Holy words, Batman. Increases crypto shield power. That'd be nice. More health. We don't have the anal probe yet, unfortunately. Saucer god. Uh, the death ray. The shields. Oh, there's no other upgrade. Oh. Oh yeah, here's the little cloning space. See the cryptos in the background? Furon Agam Furon Agami. What? Oh. Okay, Furon Agami. Concept art? Is this the original concept art or is this is this the new one, Crypto? I don't know. That's cool. Ah, oh, okay. Oh yeah, here's more stuff about the objectives. If you're on DNA, the probes. Okay. What's the next mission? A citizen crypto. I love that I love that look that he's got. That's that's the same thing that's on the disc, him pointing and screaming at you. Um because that's actually a reference to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I don't know if the original had it. I don't think it did, because the original came out in like the fifties, I think. Fifties or sixties. And then they made a remake in the eighties. But Invasion of the Body Snatchers is about aliens or specifically stuff. Or in the original, it was aliens that would, you know, steal your identity and your body. But, well, not not your body, not in the original. But um, in the 80s remake, they would actually steal your body. And if they saw you as an uninfected person, they would point up their hand and just scream at you. That's where that comes from. That's, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, guys, you know what? Oh, you can just explore. You don't actually have to start the mission. That's cool. I remembered you could do that. Anyways, guys, it's hot, and I'm going to have to end this off here. I'm not quite at an hour, but I'll go ahead and end it off here with Destroy All Humans. As far as I see, it's pretty much the same game. Some of the controls have been changed to make it more modern. I like that. The saucer kind of weirded me out at first, though, with the uh, the abduction beam. 
because I was expecting to actually pick things up right beneath you like you did in the original game. Hopefully they come back and they do the second game too, because they made Destroy All Humans 1, then they made the second one, and then they made a third one on the Wii, and there's supposed to be another one for the PlayStation 3 that never got released, I don't think, because this, this game series... It just kind of it just kind of went away, which was sad. It's a really fun game. It honestly is. There's a lot of neat ideas in this game. But I'll go ahead and let you guys go here because it's hot. I'm probably gonna go take a take a nice cold shower. Come back and keep playing some more. But if you do want to win a copy of Destroy All Humans, please let me know. Like I said, the giveaway is gonna be active for a couple of days. So leave a comment telling me that you do want to have the game, and I will mail it out to you. That's all you gotta do. And of course, be subscribed to the YouTube channel for any more giveaways that happen like this. And that's it, guys. I like this I like this game. I'm kind of all over the place because I'm tired, I'm hot. <laughs> but no, I like this game. I like it a lot. But go ahead and let me know. And I, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, always let me know down in the comments below. I look forward to reading anything I do get. And I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic day. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Take it easy.